Hi, I'm Raleigh Williams, and I'm playing in the Pool US Open. Now, I'm not that good, so I'm gonna get absolutely killed. But for the next 10 weeks, I'll be training with some pro players to try to get as good as possible. This is the road to the US Open. This is Hunter Lombardo. He is the expert, and he is gonna be training me today. Hunter, what, what am I doing wrong right now, and what are we gonna do to fix it? Well, how about we talk a little bit about what you're doing right? Okay. And the biggest thing that you do right is you've got a great attitude, Raleigh. Cool. You can do a lot with that. Like Rudy. Yeah. Yeah. But in pool, I guess, why was that football? I think he played for, for Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Uh, wow, we're like so connected right now. Wow. That's, that's, see, that's, that's, that's what really makes the relationship of the coach and player yeah. connection. Shared experiences. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Today we're going to cover uh, foundation. We're going to go over your stance, balance, and uh, setup. Uh, a little bit of alignment, but we're going to find out the technique that's going to match Raleigh's physique. Okay, and, and uh, right now, how would you describe my physique? Uh, like numbers-wise, like one to ten? Yeah, give me, give me a number. Uh, uh, can we go in half? Like, can we Look, do Look, you're the boss. Increment? You say whatever yeah, you want. I, I, uh, uh, six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was hoping for. I was hoping to get into that seventieth percentile, but you know what? Well, Room for improvement. Well, that's like sixty-five percent. We're getting close. Okay. Well. Well, uh, maybe after. I'm wounded. I feel hurt, but I'll, you, you, you got to take the good with the bad. You, you just, you do. Well, again, you have to accept the pain just as much as you accept the pleasure, and we can build from that pain. Man, now you're speaking my language. Let's get into it. Okay. I want you to draw all of these. So you're going to set up, let's start off with the four and you're going to draw all of them because I need to get him doing things that he's uncomfortable with because that's where we're going to show um, where the breakdown happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Make sure we get that part. Great. Okay, now let's set one straight up like we originally were going to do. Let's go ahead and straight shot, and you're gonna draw it back. Draw back just as far yeah, as Yeah, try, try to draw back to where, right where you are. Okay. okay. And just stay down on the shot when you're finished. Stay there. Okay. Where the pain now gets revealed. Stay where you are. Go okay. ahead and get down. Raleigh? Yeah. With this 6.5 physique, uh, what are we weighing in at right now? 181. And what are some of the activities you do to keep this 6.5 going? Uh, I mean, I'm cycling every day. Okay, so we're... we're I, that, ride, I, I ride my so, bike probably 10 miles So a day. it's safe to say with him being a cyclist that he's got a stronger lower half more so than a stronger upper That's half. That's true. Okay, yeah. so get back into the position you were. All right. Stay right where you are. Okay, great. And you're at, what's the weight again? 181. 181, okay. so. We're gonna take this, just my pinky. Okay. I weigh about, uh, I don't know, I'd say one, 145, okay. soaking wet. Got so it. let's set you back down. And let's just uh, take a peek at uh, Raleigh's balance. So you can see that his weight's wanting to go that way. So if we were to make an alteration with your stance, how could we get your weight to be a little bit more even? Widen the stance in. Okay, that's 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 one way. But would you feel comfortable being that wide? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. Why don't you set up? All right. Set up wide. Yeah. Set up to let's let's make it straight. Why don't you make the shot straight for me? Okay. All right. Okay. So now we've got definitely some more stability here. Yeah. Okay, so there's the start. So do you feel more stable versus if you were to go back to where? Yeah, I probably feel more stable here. Okay, so how about we go ahead and hit a shot. Okay. With now your feet in that new position. And let's see if it gives us a different result. And just stay where you are. 
Okay, so you made the ball this time, yeah. but if we were to talk, stay right where you are, if we were to talk about it, where does your weight feel like it's now? If there was a lean happening, is your lean to the right or your lean to the left? Um, oh. I'm, I'm leaning maybe to the right now okay, when I'm see, down. Okay, see, now, now, now you're tapping into a little bit more of your uh, awareness of your body. So okay. people out there, body awareness is everything when it comes to you making changes with your fundamentals. And so we're gonna focus a little bit right now on creating um, a little better sense of your body awareness. Okay. Okay? Because right now, uh, a lot of players, um, they, they live in an illusion where they think uh, that uh, some of these uh, deep talks that we're gonna have today with saying, oh, you should feel what your, where your balance is with your feet, where's your foot at here, where's your knee at, um, they think there's no nonsense, but I'm here to show you that there is even sense and nonsense and that's developing a better sense with your body awareness. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what, what's going on here? See how like wide you are? Yeah, um, well, I'm just, I guess I'm like trying to align my body over what I perceive the line of the cue ball is gonna be. Okay, so how about um, we take this and are your shoulders that wide? No. Okay, so let's, how about we stand like as if you're, sh you're shoulder width. How's that? Okay, and then so, the only thing, the only changes that we've made now, the only, we're, we're making enhancements. We're gonna make enhancements first, then we're gonna slowly make changes. Okay. So now that you're a little bit more shoulder width, now come into the shot. Okay, did you find it to be uh, a little bit less movement coming in? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, it was easier to find that center line. Okay, great. I, okay, uh, so have it shoulder width. we're on to something. Set up, shoulders width, okay, great. Your left foot's out a little bit more. Um, do you feel more centered? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm really leaning one way or another. Okay, other. so go ahead. All right. How'd it feel? Um, pretty good. I think uh, I feel like maybe I'm a little far away from the balls, but maybe that's just. Okay. Yeah. So you feel that you're a little bit far away so where what is something that you could do to change that I could uh, line up a little closer to everything and what do you mean a little bit closer so like right now I'm kind of you know a little maybe far, a stick, too far away stick, from the table yeah okay well one thing that most tables and uh, have in common um, depending on how high the, the lights been hung is there's always a shadow that's created, as you can see here. Matt, yeah, yeah. if you can go ahead and get, there's always a shadow that's been created around the table. So how about we go ahead and have a starting point. Let's start at the shadow of okay. the table, okay? Now, it might feel a little cramped, Yeah. but um, let's kind of take a better approach with our attitude and just say it's unfamiliar. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, you, uh, and just to be clear, you imbued me with a bad attitude and then made my attitude better. So, you know, I didn't have a bad attitude well, to begin with, just, just for just the play, record. Just playing it safe. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and come in. Definitely smaller movements. Yeah. Definitely smaller movements. And as you can see here, we look at his stance, look at his feet. It's more so underneath him, not outside of him where your balance can get off and then you're going to try to start to sway yourself into the shot versus mm. now uh, your center is created because you're right above your center so go yeah. ahead and set up and you're more compact yeah okay and as you can see raleigh go ahead and move your left foot forward you notice how no matter where our feet go hands are always going to follow. So if you're someone that sets up like this and then all of a sudden you get into a stance like this, well, what's going to be the tendency? Your hands are going to want to follow that. Well, that's not going to take you in the line. Now you're going to have to start creating torques and become a contortionist. And this is after a while. Can it work in the beginning? Can you learn how to make that work if you practice something? Yeah, of course we can. All of us can make bad habits work but it's gonna to start to really break down at crucial moments and that's when you're feeling pressure. Like the US Open. Yeah, like Raleigh will be experiencing what pressure is really all about. Uh, so now you can see that no matter which way we go, our hands follow our feet. So with you setting up, 
why don't you just have that in mind? Have that in mind, like when you come to the shot. Okay. So. Yep. Go ahead and just feel it. Yep. Yeah, I'm way. I'm much more over the shot or over my okay, body great. now. And so now we'll take a look at it, and we can see how his right hand, being a right-hander, if you were a lefty like myself, then you would see that it'd be here. He's now anatomically stacked, okay, in one line. So this hand is following the foot, and now his left foot is somewhat in the vicinity of his armpit, okay, or just slightly outside of it. So the broader you are, you're gonna find that your, your foot's gonna be further out to the left versus being more so into you. Uh, Raleigh's a little bit uh, more broad than me, and that's why he's a uh, six and a half. Um, if he starts working on his upper half as much as he does working on his lower half with his, uh, you know, riding his bike around the park, um, we're gonna get you more towards maybe an eight, broaden those shoulders. Are you, wait, are you saying that you're under a six and a half right now? No, 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 I'm, I'm saying I'm probably more so a uh, seven and a half because, but, because of my personality. Got it. So I'm gonna try to. Okay, so now, now we're getting much more sense of where things are following. Okay, great. Does that not look better? How did it feel, Raleigh? Uh, it felt good. Yeah. It felt really good. Yeah, I'm not as uh, stretched out. I think stretching out maybe puts me off balance. Well, you're, what's going to happen is, is your, your hand, it, it, it's, it's slowly, the more and more you, what you're doing, you're, you're disconnecting part of yourself from the shot. And you want to kind of come into it as a unit. Great, great. And you can see there was a slight shift yeah, with his weight. Where back, you, yeah, you yeah. shift back because now he's finding where his center is. Excellent. Much, much cleaner. Yeah, it feels clean. Yeah, much, much, much cleaner. All right, so now let's go back to your initial setup. Okay. So if we, if we look, okay, with some of the things that we've covered, we've now have slightly gone into balance. What else? What are some of the things now you're starting to feel before in, Maybe, then before we got started? Uh, s centering your weight over your body instead of kind of out okay. and uh, kind of keeping a more compact mm -hmm. stance. Okay. So, so far, all I've ever, all I've done with Raleigh is make suggestions, but it was Raleigh that, that made the decisions. And through that, that's how now we are finding um, a technique and approach that's going to match your physique. Great. Okay. Okay. So set up how you were. Okay. And what's going to be something that we're going to definitely be a little bit more mindful of when we do set up uh, are feet shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. What about what about distance? What about your depth? Um, I'm going to be a little control? closer. Try to be a little closer to the table um, than I was before. Okay. And that will allow me to be right over my body instead okay. of leaning way forward. Okay. Great. And so if, again, so even from things that we covered from lesson one, you can see now it's much easier for Raleigh to go ahead and let his lead arm mold to the table. We could probably make that bridge, we could probably make that thumb a little bit stronger. There we go, by creating a better fulcrum or a wedge for him to allow that cue to glide, which is gonna take um, a little bit of resistance and pressure off his back arm to be able to move with ease, and then he can feel the weight of the cue, he can feel how much coverage he has um, with his hand on the cue. Okay. It's okay, well there's a lot, there's a lot going on right now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're putting your focus on more than just one thing. I mean, prior to this, you know, you only had one care in the world, and that was getting the ball in. Yeah. Boy, I just remember my life before this. What a, yeah. What a rube I was. <laughs> what a country <laughs> J. Okay. Okay, great. So we look at it. Definitely more centered. Bridge hands better. Arms fitting the table. Nice even transition. So everything's beautiful, but because of Raleigh's focus on all these things, we now have to also remember you've got to now be able to flip to saying, okay, where am I trying to put this? Because yeah. right now, I mean, all your focus is here and now what used to be your complete focus is now becoming kind of like a, 
a generalization mm. to where you're not getting as specific with the pocket. Right. So now that we're getting more specific with his body, he's got to now start to get more specific with what's being, what's in front of you yeah. and what you're setting up to. So let's take everything that we've put together. And now look, as you're setting up and you're telling me, hey Hunter, now I'm here and I can find the line better and, and I feel more even with my weight. Well, like, let's give the shot a little bit more respect. Just yeah. because you're feeling better doesn't mean it's gonna go in. I was disrespecting the shot. Okay, don't be like that. Sorry. That's what's gonna keep you at a six and a half. Damn. Pick a part of that pocket when you're doing your new setup. All right, how about the, right where the leather meets the corner? Okay, so, uh, 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 Matt, um, is he, uh, do we get a little bit better here with the uh, table and the shadow and stuff? Like, what, what are we doing here? Are you, are you afraid you're gonna fall off into the uh, great beyond or what? No, I okay. just wasn't thinking. Okay, I yeah. was thinking about the pocket. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh, well, take your time. It's all right, sort it out. There we go, right over there. Mm-hmm. Okay, looking good back here. The rest is up to you, Rawl. Excellent. It felt really good. And it looked really good. Thanks. It looked like a seven? Um, in the making, yeah. Hey, all right. In the making. All right. Okay, that was a tiny little minute detail that really has so much more to it than I ever thought possible. Thank you, Hunter, for all this wisdom. I feel kind of like a, a lion. Okay. Taking care of one of its cubs. Oh, that's that nice. just that I got to teach you how to hunt. Teach you to go outside properly. And, you know, be more like your dad. You feel like you're my dad. It's some kind of. Yeah. You know how I know you're not my dad, Hunter? Because you don't talk because. to me about trains often enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dad's got a thing for the trains? He can loves trains. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what's happened today is is that, um, you, look, you, you, you can't care about things that you normally don't pay attention to or you're not aware of. And now you're starting to place care on the things that are, matter and that they're going to make a difference in your game. Like relationships but also like um, stance, probably more like stance. Okay, well, thank you so much. Uh, see you guys next time.